Hey everybody, it is your boy Mastermind27 here. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, so I've decided to film this edition in the warmest place of the house. Yeah, that's how we rock and roll here. I hope you're all safe and I hope you're all keeping really, really well out there. We're coming to the end of the Kanto throwback event, which is the first part of this exclusively exciting weeks of events running on. However, we've had some exciting announcements coming up of two new events coming up over the next couple of weeks, weekends I should say, which are gonna satisfy our appetite to play the game from home. And I'm gonna share with you some of the most amazing shinies that I've been getting as I've had another streak, which is still alive, which I'm gonna share with all of you. So before we go any further, I waited a little bit and, and I was, I did share this on Twitter and a few of you kindly made me aware that I've held on to this for a little bit too longer than most of you. I even had the Kanto Throwback Research Challenge event land on me a little bit earlier than some people. So I was fortunate on that sense and it was worth the wait. The research encounter for the last part of that Kanto Throwback was an encounter with Mewtwo with the exclusive move Psy Strike. And as I shared it, it was a green one. It was a shiny Mewtwo, absolutely amazing. And may I say, a lesson learnt there. Do not rush these events. If you wait, you will be rewarded. But don't take my word for that. That probably won't happen every single time. I'm on an amazing streak right now when it comes to shinies. The previous record is seven, which we did do in the Buddy Up event. And I'm gonna share with you now how the streak is looking right now as we're coming to the end, as I said before, to this Kanto throwback research event. I'm gonna bring these up on the screen. I think that's only right to do it. And I'm gonna talk you through how we've got these, where we've got them from, and what we've got that's really exciting to look forward to. Because like I said, we've got two exciting weekend play at home events that are coming up very soon, starting this Sunday. So at the beginning, I managed to get a shiny Oddish. I did say that I need one more for the set of four, as you have an Evolution Stone variant on the Evolution, and I evolved it into Vile Plum. Vile Plum is one of my favorite shinies. I had to get Blossom though. I really like Blossom before we did the Vile Plum one. It's a solid shiny, really happy with that one. Love the orange tint on the green face. It's a great Evolution shiny living dex, and it is now complete. So that one has been done, short that one off. We then got Eevee on the same day, a rogue Eevee. They have been spawning more, it's part of the Kanto event. I got a shiny Eevee, and you know what? I don't care what Pokemon it is, as long as it's shiny, I will catch it, and I will never get rid of it. I do not believe in getting rid of shinies, even if I've got them already. That's how I roll playing Pokemon Go. Is that what you do? Let me know, have you ever deleted a shiny? A few of you might have done it with Community Day ones, not me, keep them all the time. We then got another Oddish, which was quite convenient. I, I needed one, I've now got two, so I've got one to trade out there. Another Oddish, which is really, really great. We kept the streak going. We then got Omanite, so that was two on the second day. So the two day streak was there. I like Omanite, a really nice purple color. One of the real solid shinies. Another one I've got available for trading though. This was the one, the mother one. The first of four exclusive event Pikachus that can all be shiny, wearing the favorite Pokemon each of the four generations, starting with Charizard. Absolutely brilliant. Love the hat, it's absolutely amazing. Well, that's just Charmander, there's me go Charizard, Charizard. Charmander hat, it's a lovely one. Now, I do I had something really interesting and I like the concept of it, but could the hat be shiny as well? Well, having a shiny Pikachu with that exclusive one is really, really amazing, really solid, and I've got it, and I'm so happy to get that one. First of four nailed. If we can carry this on, that would be amazing. Then we had Spotlight Hour. Spotlight Hour happened on Tuesday and it was Shelder. Shelder was the featured Pokemon for this Spotlight Hour. It wasn't one that I needed any shinies off, but I've struck out on every single Spotlight event so far. This one was different. Half an hour into it, I got my first shiny Shelder, which also signified the first shiny Spotlight featured Pokemon. I was very happy with that one. And then at half 10 that night, I got a second one, which I didn't share with that one because I could have easily said I got two in Spotlight Hour. No, I got one at half 10 in the evening. So go work that one out. Uh, it was a full odds, well, Kanto featured Pokemon, shiny shelter. And this happened today. So the five day streak was complete. I 
after the spotlight success of Tuesday. Today, I've actually got the video of me catching it. It was close to the elusive Shundo that still eludes me. Yes, there it is. Ekans, shiny Ekans. It was so close. It was so close. I've played the video. I'm going to show you the stats now. 15 attack, 15 defense, and 13 HP. 96% IV shiny. Another one that I've already got, but it's one I might really, really consider evolving. We'll play that one by ear. Now, talking of evolutions, I'm going to do an evolution on this video. It's something that I've been intending to do, and I've got a few people out there that love the shiny low and the alf, and have said, well, I wouldn't want to see it being evolved. Well, I haven't got it evolved yet. I've held on for that one. We're going to do that in a minute. But that's the one at the end. There it is. Mewtwo. Shiny Mewtwo. It was worth the wait. Really pleased with that one. Rubbish IVs. Doesn't matter. It's a shiny Mewtwo. And the best reward you can get for that Kanto throwback research challenge. We go on to the next one, starting on the 8th, which I think is only in a couple of days now. Or depending whenever you watch this vlog. I promise you an evolution. And we're going to go and deliver it. We're going to deliver it. We are going to do it with an Aloha Meow. I haven't done any evolutions on vlog for a while, so I thought, you know what, let's just do it now. So I'm going to find the best one that we've got, a little bit one-take-ish, we like that when we do a vlog. Have we got anything better than a one-star, but it's a low and shiny? There we go, we've got a three-star one there. So we're going to do the three-star one, we're going to evolve this one. I didn't get this one as part of the event, but it's one that was the best one so far. So this one is out there for those Aloha and Meowth lovers. You haven't got one yet, you're going to see it evolved into a Loan Persian. A Persian, which is a solid shiny. I do love these Loan variants. Oh, look at that one. Absolutely beautiful. The little blue jewel on the head and that nice purpley tint. It is lovely to have that shiny included in my Pokedex. And there it goes. A Loan shiny Persian, or Persian, excuse my pronunciation, is now there. And that's a really solid one. Love that really really happy as you've hopefully seen my stardust is looking very healthy right now i set myself a challenge of getting over 4 million stardust and we're fast approaching 4.3 million show me in the comments how's your stardust haul looking are you saving it like me at the moment as is very little unless you go battle league crazy worth spending that stardust on so let's talk about the events what is coming up in the world of pokemon go what are the latest events that you can play from home and what is going on out there some of these offers in these boxes that you can get. So we've got two events coming up starting this Sunday, actually this Saturday I should say, I said Sunday before, ignore that, <laughs> rewind it, this Saturday. So look forward to Snubble Limited Research and Incense Day, Water and Dark Types. So two events in one, or two events there. In May you can look forward to events you can participate right from the comfort of your home. Starting with Snubble Limited Research. So on Saturday, May the 9th, 8am to 10pm local time, it's a 14 hour window. You can enjoy Snubble Limited Research through special time research tasks. So those who are familiar with research task events, go to Pokestops, you spin them, you get a research, you complete it, you get an encounter with a future Pokemon. And if it's like uh, our favourite one with our little purple fish, yes, the one that no one actually saw when it was released. They've evolved them a lot more now, so we are in a far better place when it comes to these research events. They've done really, really well with them, and hopefully this is going to be interesting. With the main difference, we don't have to go out there and spin poker stops. So if you were frustrated with Phoebus, <laughs> a lot of us was, but Clamper was better, and Clamper was a success when they did it with this one. Well, we're now going to Snubble, and I need a second shiny Snubble. So I'm going to be really excited for this one. How it's going to work, you're going to be at home, you're going to get like with the bonus research tasks which are now sent you for field research to save you going out to get them. You will get them sent to you. During that window, you complete them and you get encounters with Snubble. It's a great concept, love it, buzzing for that one. Do you need another Snubble? If you do, we need your first one, this is the time to do it. We'll see if the odds are increased, like with Minchino, when they did that for Minchino Research Day. We will see on this limited research. Then on Sunday, May the 17th, we've got Incense Day Water and Dark Type. This is featured around specifically Water and Dark Type. They're going to change it from hour to hour, back and forth, I believe. But the main one is a bit like they did it with Swineup, who came around on the original Incense Day a couple of weeks ago. This one is all around Kavana. 
Carvana will be sporting throughout the incense event from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I need a shiny Carvana. I love a shiny Sharpedo as well. I haven't got one of these, so I'm going to be playing this one for the full six hours because I didn't get one on my Liverpool Safari Zone makeup day, which is water themed. So I'm very, very excited for that. Let me know where you're buzzing for those events. They are particularly exciting ones. Shiny Snubble and Shiny Kavana available, potentially anyway. So they're the events that are coming up. That's really exciting. The OneCoin bundles seem to keep revolving and evolving. We've now got another one in the shop at the moment, a remote raid pass one. So you for one coin, you can get a remote raid pass. As a train goes past us there, that does happen here. Got the railway just there. We're excited for this one. Now, is this gonna be a daily one? Because there's been a lot of noise, just like that, around whether remote raid passes, why you shouldn't be able to use a free one every day to do the remote raid pass. Well, instead of having to buy them and use them for the full price they cost of the shot. If this changes it, we will see. But the hope that everybody is, and there it goes. The hope is that this is minimizing the amount of cost people that can't go out and do that raid and have a free raid pass to use that's really exciting so that is the latest one they keep evolving keep an eye out for free codes as well i will post those on twitter whenever i get them those free codes have a very short expiry list or life i should say but there's been some really good ones just recently giving you 30 balls 30 ultra balls and various items like that they're dropping those in a little bit more they're not being shared as often so check twitter on those that's where i normally find out about them i will do a very quick shiny check there even though it can't be shiny on Kakuna. Well, that is a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Shared you my shinies. We've done an evolution. We've had some amazing look on that Kanto throwback challenge. I've shared with you all the successes and the events that we've got coming up over the next week and a bit. Well, I'm Astral27. Thank you for being awesome. I am hosting the next quiz night tomorrow night, which I'll be recording. So my quiz has gone. And thank you to Brandon Tan for giving me the answer to the question that I really needed. That one's going to cause maybe a few a few dropped streak points in my quiz but it's a great tiebreaker and for those who want to know what the question is i would wait until the vlog happens tomorrow but it involves candies you've probably guessed it a little yellow rodenty creature in pokemon go right well i'm gonna go like i said please smash a thumbs up if you enjoyed this capture vlog please remember to hit the bell for notifications i'm sure that you guys out there please do so and it'll stop you from missing out on any updates and notifications coming from the channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. That'd be absolutely amazing. It's been a few days. It's great to catch up. And if you're a member of the Masterful Gang still, there's a lot of you out there who are. Really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. And we will get back out there and do some proper adventures once this crazy world realigns itself. See you soon.